<clears throat> so I just watched like a video of it did of the, that uh, sub irrigated garden with this idea. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna do this idea. And I did it, like here it is. I didn't make a video about it, but here it is. So like you have the gutter coming off the roof and then it goes into this soil and then it connects to a um, corrugated pipe uh, and it's perforated, which is just a fancy word for meaning water can pass through it and let, you know, not soil. And um, it connects to a drainage. Um, so originally the horse shop had um, one inch drainage, which is like, it's buried now, but it's like over there. And um, it wasn't enough, like more water would come through the gutter than could be drained out the one inch. Uh, drainage hole so um, yeah you would like just imagine like a dam like breaking like, like it, 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 at first like, um, if there's enough weight enough pressure holding the water back it'll fill up this gutter and then once it rises to the point where it becomes like heavier than and the soil that's keeping it down will then it'll explode the soil up. And so I had to get a four inch hole saw um, that was capable of cutting through steel. And so I'll buy a little hole saw and put it onto the drill and cut through uh, right there. And I put some clay over it just to hide it. Actually, you can kind of see it's, like, it's not perfect. But um, yeah, the Corby the pipe, and that goes out onto like a French drain. So it goes underneath the ground and then um, comes out over here. And this is what it did. did. The gutter would go directly to this drainage and then come out. And so like I, I just put this in there and you know just give the water something to do before sending it on its way. Anyway, um, so underneath this um, uh, perforated pipe that goes to the branch is uh, you know, just more uh, perforated corrugated pipe with the ends covered in, in uh, landscape fabric so soil can't get in. And it's just, um, I, I did the math. So two uh, eight foot long, four inch front in diameter uh, pipes is about 10.5 um, gallons. This whole horse trough is uh, around 90 gallons. So I liked the one gallon milk jug in the bottom of the five gallon bucket that works out well. That's a one to five ratio. To have a one to five ratio here, if that's a 90 gallon uh, horse trough, you would need a four of uh, those pipes and only have two another um alternative would be just to like line that with uh you know 10 milk jugs and two pipes and that's probably what i should have done but i didn't do that but um you know the kiddie pool uh race beds are kind of like that they have only have one corrugated pipe at the bottom and uh, it could be holding more water, but like it, it doesn't, it's not, and it seems to be fine. So, um, okay. So what I put in it, it's just, um, I threw a bunch of cover crop, like down, took the seeds from that, uh, cover crop over there, and then just threw them on the ground and they grew, as well as like, um, put a bunch of ram seeds, so, like, you know, weird stuff like hollyhocks and snapdragons and artichokes and, you know, put it in there. And so I have um, like a pepper plant and a, oh God, a Brussels sprout. What is that? Okra, okra plant. Yeah, fun stuff. So really it's just the cover crop, it's just a placeholder. If I find something 
even more important I want to put there is I don't know I'm gonna have to wait on them I won't saw me if you don't mean anyway so yeah there you go the water pumps into the gutter and instead of just going right out just instead of just being shed shedded it away from the house immediately it now um goes to fill up the bottom of this and this is kind of buried a little bit to keep the uh, water insulated <laughs> this is nice and cold down there i mean there's not even a frog just like chilling out this is nice and that's and cool that's and cool over here so um yeah so the water um, sits at the bottom of this for shop that goes underneath the ground for a little bit. And then as it rises, uh, it meets the drainage, the overflow drainage. And then it'll get funneled into there once it does. But, you know, until then, it goes, it's going to fill up this whole whole for shop. And, um, yeah, the water's got to be pushed out there. So yeah, I mean, cat and the boot, cats. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there you have it.